Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Indoctra. I mean, Bill Saves the World. Today, we're going to talk about five ways to identify a bad guy. Now, some of you may be asking yourself, how is this science? Well, let me assure you that this is absolutely science. After all, I'm Bill Nye the Science Guy. So without further ado, here are the top five ways to identify if you're a bad guy. Number one, you have a short haircut. As you can see, all of these evil people have short haircuts. Therefore, everybody with a short haircut is evil. <laughs> it's science. Let's take a look at people with short haircuts who are evil. Whoa, who put that in there? <laughs> Well, as you can see, even us perfect scientists can make mistakes. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Number two, you're muscular. As you're probably aware, not everyone is genetically disposed to being muscular. No amount of hard work could ever build muscle for some of us, like me. It wasn't until the modern era where brains began to beat brawn. Now those of us who are pure of heart and superior intellect know how to handle these muscle-bound bullies. Just look at this clip. Now, as you can see, this poor guy might be big, but he's genetically unable to build any muscle. Look at all that flab. What does he do as a tactic to fend off the barbaric muscle-bound hordes? He uses his brain. I'm a fucking woman. See that? She said she was a woman. <laughs> Isn't that great that a woman can be both physically and mentally stronger than a man? Number three, you help people out. Now, you might be confused by this one, but hear me out. Lots of real science has been done to prove what we believe to be true. So much science has been done, in fact, that there's a massive scientific consensus that most certainly can't be beaten. Even if you were to bring evidence to the contrary, it wouldn't matter because that's not how science works. There has never been a time in history when the scientific consensus was wrong. So when you see stuff like this happening, you know these people are bad guys. Number four, <laughs> you don't try to hide your face. Now, for those of us in the scientific community, we know this to be true. What we are talking about here is when you're committing a crime, I mean, when you're a part of the scientific revolution, those that hide their faces are morally, scientifically, and intellectually pure. It isn't about concealing your identity. No, it's about ensuring that nobody can be singled out by others. If everyone were to hide their faces, all individual, I, I mean, criminal char, oh, I mean, we all share in the responsibility of the scientific revolution. Number five, you don't wear black and red. Look, folks, the science is settled. If you don't wear black and red, you're obviously evil. Hollywood has it all wrong. Bad guys don't wear black, good guys do. And if you're going to accent your clothing with a color, it might as well be the daring red. Look at all these fine, not evil people doing science's work. But Bill, don't militant communists use black and red? <laughs> Who is that? Who let them talk? Look here, let me tell you about something I once said in an interview. Well, we have a lot of problems that can only be addressed with science. We have, right now, about 7.4 billion people in the world. Pretty soon, we're going to have 9 or even 10 billion people in the world. And we'll have less arable land, less farmland available. So that's going to take some improvements or innovations in agriculture. What we have is increasing disparity between wealthy and not wealthy, rich and poor. To redistribute wealth, that's going to almost certainly require providing the internet to everyone in the world. That's going to be a technical challenge. And the big, big thing is climate change, which is caused by the way we produce energy, by burning fossil fuels. So we've got to stop that. It's going to take innovations in capturing renewable energy from wind, solar, tidal energy, and some geothermal. And we can do this if we just get to work. Let's go! Isn't Darth Maul black and red? Aren't we supposed to use movies and books as a basis for morality like Harry Potter and the Hunger Games? <laughs> what? Who? What? Yeah, and isn't black and red a villain TV trope? Whoa, hold on a second. This is my show, and I'm gonna save the world. Listen here, I have a bachelor's degree in engineering, okay? I had a show on PBS based on a character I made for a comedy troupe. I even applied for NASA for fuck's sake. So listen here, you little shits. I'm gonna indoctrinate you to my political beliefs, and I will do it under the guise of science because you fucking idiots will eat anything I say because your teacher will be in what he didn't want to teach you and grateful folks about the Calvin Unit scale. So that's all the time we have today on Bill Nye Saves the World.